this is Igor Yovchevsky and I'll try to explain how my new app works. Well, basically, this is an app that will um, transcribe all the audio from a clip in Avid and uh, put uh, transcription strings uh, as markers. So let's see how it works. First, you need to have Avid installed, of course. Uh, I'll create a new project. Uh, the new project will be a 25 frames project. Just click on the OK button and open the project. Once we have that, I'll just uh, import some file. I think I got some files uh, here into here and footage. We got the interview file. Okay, as you can see, this is just a, a portion I of think an interview. He is building a company which is focused on learning as or you learn slower. Okay, so usually you may have uh, 10 of these, uh, 20 or hundreds of these. Uh, sometimes I used to have like maybe hours of uh, interview footage which needs to be organized and uh, cut into uh, a proper piece uh, as a documentary or some kind of other show. So basically, uh, I'll take this clip now and uh, you need to do this for all the clips so you can multi-select the clips i'll just select the clip right click on it and we go to send to option once you install the uh, transcriber which in my case uh, it's installed in applications as you can see it's uh, it's over here once you install it it will create a, a send to menu in Avid. So all you need to do is just run it once. So I'll just close it now. And uh, in Avid, you have something appearing uh, similar to edit a transcriber three or two or uh, without any digits on it. So basically, I'll just select the edit a transcriber now. And uh, what it does, this is very important uh, to set up properly, otherwise the app won't work. So the destination of this send to profile is the uh, your temp folder. Your temp folder, you can find out your temp folder in case you need to do this manually by opening it like this, or uh, let me see, like this. And now you, you're in your temp folder. So, so basically, uh, in your temp folder, there will be a directory AF temp exports, and there will be a subfolder transcribe folder. They need to be present, and uh, the send to profile must export to these folders. So, we can set up the, the application to be launched once the clips are exported, and uh, we need to set up two export profiles. The first profile. It's just a simple AF profile with link to media and audio with no nothing uh, ticked over here. Link to media again, AF edit protocol and use enabled trucks also on and all trucks as well. So what we need to do is you can save this as a preset. The second one needs to be set up to be an audio profile, mono and wave and we can click the use enable trucks and click save so we have these two export profiles so basically it will export an AF file for each clip and uh, an, a WAV file that will contain the audio from the clip so if we click on the OK button now well basically uh, what happened now is we have our, our project is set up uh, it's 25 frames, but this is 23,976. So basically, uh, you you need to work with the same frame rate in order to use the transcriber. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll just uh, create a new project 
which is a 23976 project. I'll select one of those here, click OK. And I'll do the same thing again, just link to AMA, take the interview and uh, send to edit the transcriber. I'll just double check whether this is okay. Uncheck this one and create the audio profile over here. Okay, so, so I'll click on the OK button now. All right, so I'll run the app now once we have that exported. As you can see, if you if you open the temp folder now, you'll see that in this folder, we have these two files. One is the interview one AF and the other one is interview one WAV file. Okay. Uh, let's open the application now. We have the application open. So it uh, recognized the file from that uh, from those two folders over there. So uh, it says there are no transcribed segments uh, yet for this file. So we can just select this and click on the transcribe, but not yet. Before, if you were if you were to use English. US, then it's uh, the default one will work. But if you want to use a different language, then you have to ch change it. So, I mean, if you wanted to do like a English UK, you can do the English UK, or if you wanted to do Polish or something, you can do like this, or I don't know, French. Uh, you can find these codes on online, and uh, these codes are used in Google speech recognition. Um, engine which is used in this transcription software uh, you will need the google api key uh, in this case uh, i've got uh, saved my default one uh, the one which i'm using but uh, you will need to get one of one for yourself and otherwise uh, i'll get charged for it so so basically uh and in this case, we only want English US and we got the key uh, inside, so we can just click on the transcribe button now and see what happens. You've got this uh, portion of the screen here, which is a lock portion. Uh, in case you have any trouble, I'll probably need this copied and sent uh, uh, later on. And let's see how the transcription goes. It depends on your internet connection. What it does now, it's sending the audio file to Google servers and it's uh, getting the transcripts. Okay, so as we can see, this is transcribed and we can just click on it and click export AAF. Okay. <coughs> So, I'm sorry, so if we can just select this AF file and maybe make a new bin and just uh, double click on it. As you can see, we can't see the, the markers yet. Uh, this is a problem with Avid. Uh, it needs to refresh its media structure. So, so what you need to do is uh, you need to close the project uh, I usually I advise maybe making a new project for import so I'll just uh, make it like a test import project in case you don't want to restart Avid so we have this new project and I'll just take this AF over here and double click on it and Voila, as you can see, we have this transcription. And uh, I think it was quite good in transcribing this. I 
this is extremely useful uh, because you can search for for something let's say we have a kind of a thing like uh, building a company and we want to search like a building a company thing so we can go here click on it and uh, just say I don't know building a company uh, search and it takes us to the place where we have building a company as a string okay uh, usually this is this is very short uh, it's only 32 seconds if you have like a larger clips you'll have maybe hundreds of this and that should help you a lot while editing uh, lots of uh, talking heads footage thank you very much um, if you have any questions uh, send me an email uh, at beta at editate.com I have another uh, product uh, which I'm preparing which is like synchronization thing for Avid and you can download that from the website as well and uh, try it as a beta tester. Uh, once these uh, apps are released the beta versions will expire so all those uh, testing it uh, uh, more thoroughly than others will get a free license uh, forever so I'll I'll be quite happy if people are testing it as much as they could in their spare time. Thank you very much.